November 14, Thursday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce. Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit, for just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord the Kingdom of God In the Old Testament, the primary sense of the Kingdom of God is dynamic, that is, sovereignty or royal rule. The sense of realm or territorial kingdom is secondary. Therefore, the Kingdom of God signifies God's sovereign, dynamic, and eschatological rule. As the awaited Messiah, Jesus used the kingdom of God as a late motif of his teaching that has continuity with the Old Testament but also goes beyond it these respects. Entrance to the kingdom is not confined to Jews. The kingdom is not a vague future hope but is definite and eminent, starting right here and now. The kingdom is connected with Jesus' destiny, his mission, and his person. Hence, as the gospel proclaims, the kingdom of God is among you. It is already present and active as people strive to live their faith in God through Jesus. What goes in your mind as you pray daily? Our Father in heaven, thy kingdom come? What aspects of your life do you still have to submit to the rule of God? 